What's up guys? So in this video, I'm going to show you how to measure a true course using a sectional chart. We're going to go from March Air Force Base right here to Cochrane Regional KTRM right here. So the first thing you want to do is you just want to draw your course. So obviously this would be between two checkpoints, but let's say you're making a straight shot between the two airports. So we try to get in as middle as possible between the two airport symbols. We draw our line. And now what we wanna do is we wanna get the true course. So let's say we're going from, like we said, March Air Force Base here. We're going, this is our start. And then we're ending at Cochrane Regional. Okay, so what we wanna do is we wanna use our plotter. We wanna have the wheel, the spinny side of the wheel, the wheel on the top, okay? And then we wanna line up our course on this middle line here in the middle. You can actually, you can do this line, this edge, this edge, or the middle. It's all gonna be in line on the same course. So I like to use the middle, and then we have the wheel on top. Now you see these arrows on the wheel. You want those arrows to be pointing straight up on the map. Now, if you see on the map, you have these lines here of longitude okay and these lines of longitude you want these vertical lines on your wheel to be parallel to those lines of longitude so you just look at the lines here and try and get them in line with those lines of longitude and then same thing with the horizontal lines on your wheel you want to get them in line with these lines of latitude okay so that looks pretty good and now since we're going this direction from March Air Force Base here to KTRM here, we will read off our wheel right here where this line, this arrow intersects our wheel, we'll read off our true course. So you can see the 100 value on the wheel here, 110 here. So it's about 105 for our true course from March Air Force Base to Cochrane Regional. There is going to be some air when you're doing this between you know two to three degrees. Just do the best that you can. All right, and now while we're at it, if you wanted to get a distance, let me show you how to do that. So the tricky part about this is the scales on your chart. So we are using a sectional chart. So we wanna look for the sectional scale. I always have it, okay. So you see this here on the inside, it says terminal area and the scale is one to 250,000. So we're not using a tack chart, we're using a sectional chart. So up here we look at sectional, okay? But now this is in statute miles. We want nautical miles, so let's flip it over. And there we have nautical miles on this side. Terminal area, we don't wanna use that, we're using a sectional, so this top, this five and this 10 nautical miles sectional, you gotta make sure you're using the right scale. You put the starting point at your starting airport, and then you just line it up with your line and read off again on this top scale, looks about 57 to Cochrane Regional. So sit 57 nautical miles on a true course of 105 degrees. All right, if you have any questions, please comment below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.